Welcome to Scanny TV on YouTube once again. Let's take some latest updates coming in from the camp of Blockstars players. Yes, today Mohamed Kudus, he was really fantastic for his side, West Ham United, as they played against Newcastle. The game ended Newcastle 4, West Ham United 3. At a point, West Ham, they were leading by 3 goals to 1, but unfortunately, in the last 10 minutes, West Ham has to actually succumb to a 4 goals to 3 lose against Newcastle, and it was an interesting game. Kudus, he scored a fantastic goal. He wanted to do his um, stool celebration, but he was denied. And we will check it out in this one. Kamal Din Sulemana has also played for Sarampton. We will talk about him, Fatai Sahaku Abdo, and some other players in this one. Before then, if you have joined me, don't forget to like the video for me. After liking, if you are new, subscribe to the channel, put us some post notifications so that anytime we drop a latest update, you'll be the first person to get it also. Enjoy. Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment box and share this video for others to also enjoy. How did you see Kudus today? And how are you seeing all the other Ghanaian players? In fact, they have been playing well for the club side. I've been saying it. But if they come to the national team, it has been a challenge for them. Now, let's begin from here. Today, it was Newcastle versus West Ham United in the EPL. It was an interesting game. And the game ended, as I said, Newcastle 4, West Ham United 3. And um, the first goal actually came true when Alexander Isaac, he scored from the spot. Um, so far, actually committed a penalty. And Alexander Isaac scored for Newcastle on the seed minute. On the 21st minute, we had Mikel Antonio who equalized for West Ham United after Lucas Pakita. He gave him a sumptuous pass or assist to make sure that West Ham will draw the game one all on the 21st minute. Mohamed Kudus on the 45 plus 10 minutes because first half the referee had 10 minutes. 45 plus 10, that was when Kudus, he scored a fantastic goal when he was assisted by Gerald Bowen. Just in the box, he, he actually got a pass from Bowen and he smashed it with the right foot. And Kudus, after scoring that goal, he wanted to go and celebrate with the stool. But a young boy who was a ball boy in the stadium for um, you know Newcastle United, the boy never gave Kudus his um, stool for Kudus to go and sit on it. So Kudus, he has to now resort to um the advertising board and he sat on it with the likes of pakita and uh Su um, suchek and the other players at West Ham united so this what actually happened kudus he wanted to celebrate with the chair but the young boy said no um the last time kudus scored and he celebrated with a stool he actually picked it from a cameraman but this time around the ball boy he said i will not agree for kudus to use my chair to celebrate so many are saying that kudus should get himself a stool so that any stadium that he plays in he will go with it and right after scoring he will just go and pick it and go and sit on it so that is also the interesting thing coming in from there now in the second half of the game um west ham they actually scored a third goal quickly on the 48 minutes when Mohamed kudus he assisted jarrod bowen to also score the third goal so kudus in this game he scored and also assisted in this particular game and that was a great one for them west ham they has to hold on um on to this particular lead but later on West Ham could not do it as, um, you know, Alexander Issa scored on the 72nd minute from the spot as well when he actually, uh, when Anthony Gordon was brought down, then on the 77th minute, he converted from the spot. Harvey Barnes also had to score the third goal for Newcastle United on the 83rd minute when he was assisted by Alexander Isaac. And finally, Harvey Barnes again, he scored on the 90th minute to give Newcastle the win when Anthony Gordon also assisted him to make sure that Newcastle they will win the game by some four goals to three. Anthony Gordon he picked a record when he wasted time on the 90 plus four minutes in this particular game. So it was really an interesting game. Newcastle four, West Ham United three, and that is what actually happened in this game. I would say West Ham United they really need to work on their defense because um, they play well, but sometimes their defense is too. Um, week for opponents to actually capitalize on that is what actually happened and West Ham they lost by four goals to three by Kudus what he did in the game he's trending everywhere Kudus first EPL goal he scored against Newcastle when he climbed off the bench on the 78th minute to score for them then today he also scored and assisted so two matches for Kudus against Newcastle United Kudus has scored two goals and provided one assist and today was his seventh EPL goal for West Ham United. So it tells you that Kudus, he has been fantastic. Today he was rated 8.4, the highest rating um, for his side. But um, overall, Alexander Isaac, he had a rating of 
8.1 so he is the one who was leading by kudus 8.4 rating after 90 minutes he had one goal as i said already one assist 66 touches in the game kudus continue um to give 27 accurate passes out of 34 attempts which is 79 percent key passes were two in the game for kudus crosses was one which was accurate long balls kudus sent six four were accurate in the game big chances created was one shot on target was one when he scored short block was one in the game for kudus dribble attempt were 13 and kudus completed seven out of the 13 dribble attempts ground was he went in for 22 and got 14 accurate um he also went in for two area was when he lost all also going in for um 19 possession lost in the game he was fouled three times one offside four tackles in the game from kudus and one dribble pass as well as kudus played against newcastle and he did so well for him but unfortunately they lost the game by four goals to three now let me move on and talk about some other Ghanaian players yes it was Saramzin versus Medesbra yesterday in the english championship and we have kamaldin Suleimana who plays for them kamaldin injuries has not really done him good in this particular season but he's also doing his best yesterday he started and later on he was substituted it was Saramzin one Medesbra one and um he played a total minutes of 63 he got a rating of 7.2 according to sofa score other sides also rated him 7.3 7.1 and that is that one shot off target for him dribble attempts were two one was successful touches were 39 um kamaldin Suleimana provided 22 passes out of 25 attempts which is 88 percent one key pass in the game crosses were four one was accurate in the game ground as he went in for five and one three kamaldi and suleiman also continued to lose 11 times possession um then one foul he was fouled once and one tackle made in the game for kamaldi and suleiman at the moment Saramten they sit fourth in the english championship east Street town is leading with 84 points leeds united in second spot with 83 leicester in third spot with 82 and Saramten with fourth spot with 74 and leicester city they are also in a very bad position at the moment at a point they were leading by some eight points in the english championship but yesterday bristol city also scored a goal against them and leicester could do nothing about it abdul fatai sahaku he was also um, in action for leicester city and if leicester um, qualifies to the epo abdul fatai sahaku will stand a chance of staying permanently even though leicester they are looking forward to sign him but if they qualify to the epl he is going to stay and it was part of his contract but unfortunately right now things are not looking great for leicester city at all 6.8 rating for fatai saku abdo yesterday as he played 90 minutes for his side two shots off target one shot block dribble attempt were three and none was successful touches were 48 he gave 21 out of 31 accurate passes which is 68 percent crosses was one long balls he sent three one was accurate ground was one were three out of nine um then area was he also won four out of seven he went in for possession loss were 16 and fatai saku had four fouls he was fouled once one clearance one block shot and two tackles made in the game for himself yesterday in the french league one we also had Liu versus Lance in the french league one game and Liu metropole they won by some two goals to one salis abdul samed yesterday he started and played 70 minutes for his side out Lance after losing two goals to one he was rated 6.6 in the game 34 passes out of 40 accurate in the game which is 85 percent touches were 50 long balls he sent to one was accurate in the game he also went on to make two fouls ground was he went in for seven and got three right dribble attempts were two one was successful error was he went in for one did not win possession loss were eight he made two fouls he was also fouled once one tackle or two tackles rather and dribble pass one in the game for salis abdul Same. so these are some of the performances of Ghanaian players i'll be bringing you more as the likes of semenya will be playing Tarek lamte inyaki williams and all the rest will also be playing around this particular um you know easter season yes so let me know your thoughts in the comment box kudus scoring assisting but losing the game in here as he was also denied his still celebration in this particular game the likes of uh kamaldin sulemana fatai saku abdo salis abdo summit and some other players also updated in this particular video don't forget to like the video subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel this is kenny tv and of course we shall meet later